I've got a pound and a half of baby Yukon Gold potatoes and I've washed them, but you can still see some little specks of dirt and grit on here even though I've already washed them. So I've got a clean kitchen towel and I'm just gonna scrape off some of those little dirty spots. And then I got a little potato eye right there. I can take my little paring knife and just get rid of that little sucker. And then I've got a nice clean potato. And I'm gonna take these guys and the bigger ones like this, I'm gonna cut them in quarters. Tinier ones like that one, I'm probably just gonna cut that one in half. And I'm putting them in cold water, very important for potatoes or any kind of root vegetables. You wanna start them in cold water. If you put root vegetables in boiling water to begin with, the outside will get mushy while the inside is still raw and that's not good um, mouth feel. So we start root vegetables in cold water and I'm gonna finish prepping up these potatoes. So I've got my potatoes nice and clean, covered in cold water, and I'm gonna add a generous pinch of this beautiful sea salt, Celtic sea salt. And now it goes on the stove, bring it to a boil, and let it go till it's fork tender. One really important point to know when you're cooking, it's important to set yourself up for success. Now, I'm gonna put these potatoes on to boil, but I'm gonna go ahead and put my colander in the sink and get ready because when your potatoes are done, you don't wanna be looking all around the kitchen for your strainer. You want it in the sink, ready to go for when your potatoes are done. Set yourself up for success. When you're zesting, you want to take off just the yellow part. That white part is really bitter, so you just lightly zest. Going around the whole outside of the lemon, that way you get all the zest, all the good flavor, and none of the bitter flavor. Tap, tap. Zested lemons. All right, I'm gonna take down the celery. I'm gonna chop up these green onions for the herby potato salad now. And I'm gonna show you how to hold the knife safely and correctly. So you re really wanna grab it up towards the top, pinch, and then curl your fingers around so that you're holding the knife with these two fingers. That gives you more stability. I've also got a wet paper towel under my cutting board so it doesn't slide around. A stable work area is a safe work area. It, cooking is really a good way to teach math skills. Yeah. That's all my parsley time. Parsley time. Parsley time. I just drained 
my potatoes and covered them with a damp towel. I let them steam for about 10 minutes. They are the perfect vehicle for soaking up this gorgeous dressing that we're about to put on here. So simple and so delicious. So I've got my olive oil and my lemon juice. Go ahead and put those together. Lemon zest. Dijon mustard. This one has the whole grains in it, which we love. Get a mix. My herby seasoning. Freshly cracked pepper. I always figure about two rinds of pepper per serving. It's a good way to look at it if you're not measuring your pepper that day. Give it a mix. Mmm, smells good. And a pinch of salt. Remember, we cooked the potatoes in salted water, so we're probably going to adjust for seasonings later, but right now we're just gonna add a pinch. There's our dressing that we're gonna add to the potatoes while they're warm. Very important. It's gonna soak up all that dressing and the potatoes are just gonna be that much more filled with flavor. Give it a toss. and let it sit. Okay. You, we can go ahead. After the potatoes sit with the dressing on them for about 10 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and add our vegetables. I didn't add the vegetables before because I don't want them to wilt in the warm potatoes. So now that they've sat and cooled with the dressing on them, I'm gonna add my cup of parsley, green onions, And chopped celery. I love these little leafy tops. So good. And I'm just gonna give it a toss. So the colors come alive. 